to a short episode of Wolf Sound podcast. I'd like to have a to share a quick message on radical acceptance. The moment you have radical acceptance is is the same moment the pain comes in, which is why most of us find it hard to accept reality. Acceptance of a situation is often preceded by a loss of hope, and hope is definitely a tough thing to lose. Hope is like a fluffy cushion that helps us flow through life, and to lose it is to lose that thing that softens life's blows. It often means we come to the realization that a person won't change or that we never even had them. It could mean we're about to lose them. It means that a wish won't come true or a goal won't come to pass. It also means accepting that the loved one is gone and we will never see them here again. It means that the acceptance of the reality of our current situation means we have to take responsibility and no one is coming to save us. But once the pain subsides, and it will, we will wish we had gone through that pain and that painful tunnel much sooner than that. The sooner we go through radical acceptance and bear the weight of its inherent pain, the more time we have to course correct, to make long overdue positive changes, and to take a real chance at the life meant for us. Acceptance will free you, and it will free up space for blessings to enter. It surely is like a bitter medicine, awful at first, but healing in its wake. So I hope you give it a shot, give it a, a try with radical acceptance, because the other side is much better. We don't want to waste our lives hoping a certain person will change or or to get stuck in abusive relationships or to be stuck in life in general. We really don't want to reach the end of our lives looking back with regret of things we could have done. And, and a lot of times we get stuck because we're really not able to, to accept the reality of a situation. And we keep fighting against it, fighting against it and hoping for things to be different. Albert Einstein said in the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and hoping for a different result. So the re if the result is painful for you, if if the life that you're living is, is not meeting your highest potential, if you if you know in your heart you deserve so much better than that, and I know you do, you don't need to sit in a, in a bad environment for you. You don't need to subject yourself to people who are disrespecting you or yelling at you all the time. You don't need to to stay stuck in a in a job that is paying you peanuts when you have great talent. And uh, you don't have to uh, talk when your dogs are barking. So. Uh, I hope you're receiving this message of radical acceptance. Uh, please don't surround yourself with with people and environments that are toxic for you. And uh, know your worth. Know what you have to offer. Find that calling and follow that. Because every person has something to offer, something special. And I promise you, none of this could come to the light if if you're just stifled by circumstances or by the negative things that you don't want to accept because because of the pain of losing that hope it, it may be a bit painful to to lose the hope of things to be different but it's a lot more painful to continue living in false hope so think about that and uh, and make your choice wisely I hope you find your way in this life and to find your joy or at least to find some peace. Thank you and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.